This is my garage door arm. And as you can see, the bracket ripped off. In this video, I'll show you how to fix a garage door bracket that ripped off. Step one, I removed this pin right here by removing the ring from it. It kind of looks very similar to the keychain ring and then the pin comes out. Step two, I took a hammer and tried to flatten out these burrs out. So what I tried to do is use a clamp and flatten the holes out so that the burrs are not sticking up. I couldn't do this one because it's kind of hard to get in there because this is in the way. Um, so this one's still and hammering it doesn't work. Step three, I took the screw out from the bracket and used the hammer to straighten out it as well. You can see that these are the three holes that line up and as you see arrow pointing down, looks like they mounted it upside down. It's supposed to go this way. So I think what I'm gonna do is mount it like this. Probably match this existing hole right here and try to mount it like this and see what happens. Step four, I used the Sharpie and marked the new holes. Then I took the step drill and drilled out the hole big enough to fit my new bolts. It's always good to have a variety of nuts and bolts around your house. So I found these that will work for the bracket. This way I can place a nut on the back end and a washer to make sure that it won't rip out again. I then place the ratchet wrench on the back side and tighten all the bolts and screws. Smash that like button if you made it this far. Next, I reconnected the pin and installed the ring into the pin to make sure it doesn't fall out. And finally, I gave it a test trial and it worked out great. It's been nine months so far since I did this and it still works good. Check out how I painted this garage door next.